Educational Satellite Television Programs Hello teacher. Hello students. Welcome to today's lesson on human races. In our last few lessons, we have been learning about the factors that have affected the evolution of humans. We have learned about the terms Homo sapiens, hominid, and genus. We have also learned that a larger brain and bipedalism distinguish Homo sapiens from other primates. In our last lesson, we discussed how the larger brain in Homo sapiens enabled progress in evolution. It allowed them to think ahead and make useful materials, such as tools or weapons, which would become essential to their survival and evolution. It also helped with the ability for Homo sapiens to move faster and with more grace. In this lesson, we will be discussing migration and how different human races are evolved. This is going to be a very interesting lesson today, students. I hope you're ready to begin. As we have learned through fossil findings, modern humans first appeared in Africa. They have since migrated all over the world. Human migration is a term used to describe the movement by humans from one area to another, sometimes over long distances and in large groups. Students, can you think of some examples of how the changing environments could affect Homo sapiens? Once you have written down some of your ideas, share them with the classmate sitting next to you. Students, let's get ready. Begin. Time's up! Let's get back to our lesson. Welcome back, everyone. Did you share your answers with your classmates? 
I am sure you thought of some very interesting ideas. You could have listed that different environments affected the way people developed. Humans' skin color, body shape, height, and weight can all be affected by the environment. You may have also answered that Homo sapiens who lived in various environments would have been exposed to different elements like the sun, rain, or snow. These elements affected how people lived and where they lived. Also, different environments affected the food, water, and natural resources that were available. As humans migrated north, the climate was much colder, and their body features adapted in order to help them adjust to the change in weather and to conserve heat. Some of the adaptations included a shorter, rounder body shape. This reduced the surface area of the body that was exposed to the cold. Another adaptation was an increased layer of adipose tissue under the skin, which acts like insulation to conserve body heat. Also, humans living in the north became hairier to combat the frigid temperatures. All of the changes and adaptations made by the body provided humans with a survival advantage. They were able to live in new environments and flourish. As humans began to procreate, they passed their newly developed traits onto their offspring. This is how the evolution of different races began. Students, for the next activity, take a moment to think of all of the different races you can. Write your answers on a sheet of notebook paper. Students, let's get ready. Begin. Time's up! Let's get back to our lesson. Great job, students. I am sure you listed quite a few. 
Some examples you could have listed are African, Caucasian, Asian, Indian, Mediterranean. Humans have been evolving into different races for thousands of years. It can be difficult to categorize all of the world's races because there is some debate about their exact nature. However, today we will learn about one theory of classification that consists of three main races with several subdivisions. The first race classification is African, or Negroid. This race comprises 100 million people from Africa and the Melanesians from the South Pacific. The second classification is Eurasian, or Caucasoid. This race comprises of 1,000 million people with variable skin color, ranging from white to dark brown. There are three subdivisions in this category. Nordics are people from Scandinavian or Baltic countries, such as Sweden, Germany, or Britain. They are often tall and have a narrow-shaped head. Typically, they have light hair and skin color. People from the Mediterranean race originated from countries like Spain, Italy, Egypt, Pakistan, or India. They are lighter in body build and are also narrow-headed. The Alpines are people from countries in the Mediterranean to Asia. They usually have a broad head, square jaw, olive skin, and brown hair. The third classification of race is East Asian, or Mongoloid. Presently, this is the largest population. They also have three subdivisions. The first is Eastern Siberians, Eskimos, and Northern American Indians. The second are people from Japan, Korea, and China. And the third subdivision is Indonesians and Malays. Students, can you make a list of physical characteristics that are unique to your race? Think about the color of your skin, shape of your body, and texture of your hair compared to other races. You may begin now. Students, let's get ready. Begin.
Time's up. Let's get back to our lesson. Welcome back, students. Great job. I am sure you were able to list characteristics like dark skin tones, thick hair, dark eyes, and long limbs. Your physical characteristics are a product of human adaptation. They evolved over time as a result of the environment that you live in. The physical and genetic differences of the races in the human population could have enabled the population to evolve into